Hey, my super Scorpio, and welcome to your April love bonus reading. This is just a general reading, so please do take what resonates and toss the rest. Also, check out your monthly general reading as well as your weekly reading. Uh, if this does resonate with you, please do like, subscribe, share, all that great stuff. It does mean the world to me. I would greatly appreciate it, and it does help get to the other Scorpios. Also, it's free fun, and why not? So... We will go ahead and do this as a past, present, future style reading. So again, time is fluid in tarot, so the past may be recent past or years past. The present might be ongoing right now for a bit, and the future could be right now starting out or in the um, distant future, hopefully not that too distant, but let's go ahead and get started, shall we? Alrighty, oops. All right, let's see what we've got for you. Okay, so we have the Queen of Cups in reverse and the World card in reverse. So I feel like at I feel like somebody has, you know, kind of broken your heart a little bit and I feel like at some point you feel like that you were in charge. You were kind of on top of your game. This relationship was amazing. Um, you felt like it was perfect. Uh, however, something changed. Um, so I don't know if this was a personal change from this person or perhaps something happened to this person. Um, but I do feel like for whatever reason, this did make you um, kind of lose your queen of cups feeling where you didn't feel so on your game feel so um good about yourself outgoing it may have kind of made your self-esteem feel a little bit crushed um and in addition with the world card being in reverse i feel like that's usually like a fruition where you feel like you've um successfully completed something you know you can move on to like a new level type of thing but i feel like this is a feeling maybe where you didn't feel like you got to complete the things that you wanted. So things weren't completed. They weren't done for you. Um, so I feel like either this person maybe either left you or, you know, they cheated on you and you had to leave them or they pulled something terrible and you had to leave them. Uh, this person could have, um, have passed away or this person, I don't, they could go to jail, whatever reason, maybe they had to move away for some reason, or they chose to move away from, um, you know, for work or something like that. And you felt like they left you and they just didn't even think to uh, include you in that. But for whatever reason, I feel like it's kind of left you battered, bruised, a little bit like your self-esteem is off. Um, and like you, you didn't get that closure that you wanted. I don't feel like you feel like the closure you needed came. Um, so you're a little bit just kind of, I, I don't, I feel like you're just unhappy about it. So let's, let's get a little, another clarifier here. Okay. Yeah. Five of Pentacles. So I feel like, you know, I feel like for, for you, you feel like there's baggage there. There's a lot of baggage. Um, and it's just, you can't unpack that baggage because for some reason you just feel like, um, you know, you didn't get a chance to finalize. It just, it was, it was done before you wanted it to be either, you know, again, you were kind of left, you were kind of dumped, you were, uh, broken up with you were they moved and didn't really consider you or your feelings or what you needed and you couldn't really go with them for whatever reason uh, they chose a job over you or you know like I said they may have passed away um, you know or maybe you had to leave them you had to because they just weren't maybe they cheated on you maybe they did something horrible to you but again you didn't get to say your piece you didn't get to have your moment um, but for whatever reason, I feel like you just feel like there's a lot of baggage there that still needs unpacked and you did not get to complete what you felt like you needed to complete. So moving forward into where you are now though. Um, so we have the, uh, nine of pentacles in reverse. So I feel like this person did leave you, um, 
also a little financially uh, less less than you wanted. Uh, a little um, upside down financially. I won't say upside down because that's kind of a bad term. It kind of makes it seem like maybe they left you in the hole. I don't necessarily know that that's the case. Maybe for some of you it is, but um, I think though that maybe they did you wrong financially or maybe they left you, you know, hanging with bills. Maybe they left you hanging, um, you know, they just took off with some of the funds uh, that you were sharing. And again, this could even be part of the baggage here too. This five of pentacles could be um, not just emotional baggage, but also financial baggage too. Um, but I do feel like, again, you know, maybe again, if they passed away, they might have left you with, uh, you know, less income, less, you know, now you've got to pay for funerals. Now you got to pay for things like that. That's possible. Uh, it could also be that, you know, if they uh, went to jail, if they picked up and moved on with somebody else, you know, they left you and now you're stuck with the entire, uh, you know, rent or mortgage or whatever, all this kind of stuff. And, um, you know, your life was based on a two income you know, situation and now all the bills are kind of like piling on you. So I do feel like, you know, again, not the closure you wanted, not the way you saw things happening, not how you hoped things are upside down and you didn't get to say your piece. You didn't get to get the closure you needed. You kind of feel like you got screwed, frankly. I hate to say it that way, but it's true. However, this Ace of Swords energy lets me know that this is either your energy where you are uh, pulling yourself up by your bootstraps and you really get back on your game or this is the energy of someone who is going to come in and they are going to be your saving grace. Okay. So we'll get some clarifiers and kind of find out, but I do definitely feel, let's see what we got going on here. Okay. So 10 of cups in reverse. So I do feel like, um, you know, I feel like that's somebody who, Okay. The Ten of Cups in reverse is just letting me know that I feel like your family is, it's not what you wanted. Again, I feel like that's just, your game is off. Um, so I feel like this could be something where um, your family's not, you don't feel like your family's there for you. So I feel like this, this Ace of Swords, again, is, it's somebody who's going to help you. But I do feel like your friends and family, maybe they're they're just not there for you. They're not able to help you or they're not close by or they're just not. Um, you don't feel maybe, you know, you were planning a family with this person and that's not working out because obviously that just went, you know. Um, but, you know, I, I just... That... This this concerns me because I feel like for some of you that it's a loss. The 10 is an ending card and the 10 of cups in reverse does make me feel like for some of you this is a loss. Like you've lost a loved one um, and you're harnessing that ace of uh, swords energy but it's just to barely get by. Like you're struggling right now. Really, really struggling. Um, let's get another one here. The sun in reverse. <sighs> yeah, I feel like that's you. I feel like you have that energy. Okay. I feel like you want to use that energy and it's, but it's taking all of it just to get through. I feel like you're barely mustering the energy to get through. Okay. So whether it's broken heart, whether it's because you feel like you've lost what family plans you had, what you thought was going to be your family because this person that you planned to have a family with left, moved off, went with somebody else, went to prison, got, uh, you know, kidnapped, got in an accident, passed away, whatever happened to them. I feel like it's turned your entire idea of happiness and family joy upside down. I feel like it has... Put you in a cloud under some darkness, okay? And you have that Ace of Swords energy. I still feel like that's your energy. But I feel like it's taking every single bit of it you can muster truly to just make it through right now. Because that baggage that's 
out there that's unpacked and the debts that you might have associated with this. They're taking their toll, the emotional toll. Um, like I said, you're having to harness your entire Ace of Swords energy just to kind of really make it through. So I feel like this person either really did you wrong or they left in a way that they couldn't help if they, you know, if they passed away or, um, you know, something like that. Um, if they got transferred for work, you know, something like that to another place and left, um, I think you feel like they could have got a different job and they feel like that you're, you didn't see it from their viewpoint. You know, I just, I feel like there's just a lot of hurt right now. You're feeling a lot of hurt right now. Um, you know, take it as it resonates from your situation, but I definitely feel like you feel a lot of hurt right now. Uh, you kind of feel like you're under a cloud of darkness financially, emotionally, all of that. Um, you still have your strength though. I do feel like that Ace of Swords energy is still yours. It's just taking all of it right now. Um, let's see what you've got going forward. So, okay. Knight of Wands coming in, racing in fast. Okay. Knight of Wands is strong, fiery, passionate. Um, that is opportunity. That could be a love coming in. Um, in fact, I feel like that is somebody coming in, to, you know, and it may even be someone you know. For some reason, I feel like maybe this is someone you know who sees you kind of struggling a bit and maybe they've been interested in you for some time and they see this as their golden opportunity. So before anybody else gets to you, they're going to race in and scoop you up. I kind of feel that way, okay? Um, the next card is your temperance card. Um, and I feel like that is you just deciding whether or not you want to uh, allow this person in. Again, you are struggling a little bit. You're emotionally spent. You are hurt. You know, you have baggage. And again, I feel like, you know, you maybe not, haven't healed. You may not be over all this. Uh, you may not be ready for a new relationship. Um, and also for some of you, again, if this is a person you know, which I do get that distinct feeling for some of you that this is somebody you already know who's like, heck yeah, this person is free at last, free at last. I'm rushing in and scooping them up before anybody else gets a chance. Um, but for you, you're kind of like, they've been friend zoned for you and you're kind of like, oh, I don't know if I want to mess with that. So I think for some of you, you're kind of weighing that. And for others of you, you're kind of weighing whether or not you're even ready to go into any relationship because you're bitter, you're angry, you've got baggage, you feel is no closure, unsettled, you're hurt, you're struggling financially, emotionally, mentally, you know, all of this. So, um, you know, it's deep thoughts right here. Uh, but let's see what else we got here. Okay, so Page of Pentacles in reverse. So, you know, I feel like financially, I feel like, you know, you're kind of maintaining that it's going to take some time. That I mean, I feel like it's going to take some time to kind of clear yourself financially. Again, I do feel like this person somehow left you with some debt. Now, if they passed away, they may have left you, you know, with no life insurance, no whatever, and you've got a mountain of, you know, funeral costs and debts and things like that that you've got to pay. If this person went to jail, they may have left you with all the bills. If this person just up and left you for somebody else, they may have just been such a jerk face. They left you with, you know, half of the rent for the rest of the year because it's in your name. And now, you know, you were basing it on them paying half the rent. Now you've got to pay the whole rent, all the utilities, and you are really, really struggling. And I feel like, you know, you're asking, you're going to have to ask for help probably because I do feel like it's going to take you some time to get out from under this. I just feel like, you know, you might need to get some help from somebody um, because I feel like you're, I feel like you're struggling a bit there. I feel like this, and again, I do feel like this goes back to here where this is baggage, but it's not just emotional baggage. It's potentially some, uh, financial baggage as well. Uh, so let's see what else we got here. The Hermit. So again, I think that that temperance card is, is kind of 
contemplative for you with the Hermit card too. So for some of you, you're kind of debating whether or not you want to even move forward with a relationship. I feel like some of you are really hurt. You're really bitter. You're really um, broken. So you're you're kind of one of two categories and take it as it resonates. But I, I feel like some of you are just broken, okay? You're hurt, shattered, gutted. Um, because, you know, you just feel like your heart is shattered. Um, and that would be, you know, especially if somebody passed away, especially if somebody left you um, that you really, really loved. And, you know, they just didn't really think about it. You know, they didn't intentionally do mean things to you, um, but they moved off for work, you know, or it was a misunderstanding, you know, something of that nature. But some of you too are just angry, bitter, pissed, excuse my language, but you know, you got done dirty. They left you with bills. They left you with debt. They left, they did not give two bejeebas about it or you had to leave them because they were so crappy to you, cheating, lying, stealing, whatever. Um, you are just bitter. So um, either way though, regardless of which side you're on on that, I think for a lot of you, you are feeling like you just kind of may not want to jump out into a dating pool, a relationship, much of anything, you know, you've got this fiery hot knight of wands coming into you. Um, they may be all about you. They may be a wonderful person. Um, and you are contemplating, I think with the temperance card, I think you are contemplating the thought of that. Um, but I think at the same time, you're also really enjoying the fact that you can just kind of close yourself up in your home um, and keep your head under the covers for some of you because you just can't deal with it right now. It's just so much, it's so much on your plate. Even, like I said, even though you have that ace of swords energy, and I truly believe that is your energy for most of you, um, it's taking all of it <laughs> to really get you through. Um, just all of the emotional, the physical, the mental, and the financial aspects of this. Um, and then the devil in reverse. So, you know, I feel like, I feel like this is something where, you know, for those of you who are angry, I feel like this is where you have been able to cut ties. You finally can cut ties with the devil, okay? You might take this time to be a hermit you are finally able to cut the mental tie, let it go, accept that you may never get closure, say, screw it, and move on, okay? Those of you who are angry, who were done wrong, who were treated horribly, okay? That's how I feel, like, that's what this card is telling me for those of you that are in that category, okay? For those of you that I feel like... Um, are of the opposite, that are really hurt, really gutted. You know, maybe you lost someone, maybe um, they had to leave, they felt like they were doing what was right, um, you know, or it was a long distance relationship and it just didn't work, you know, whatever it may be, but you didn't feel like you got the closure you needed, what have you, um, and now you're struggling a little bit, um, but it wasn't something they did intentionally. I think this is just the confirmation that you come to the understanding that that is your closure. Your closure is that this person was not devil energy. This person was not somebody who wanted to hurt you. This person was somebody who, you know, they didn't want to leave you that way. They didn't want to harm you. If they had to go to jail, if they had to move for a job, if they passed away, if whatever, they surely did not mean to. It was not intentional to do you harm to do you ill will, to leave you in a worse position than, um, than before they knew you, okay? It was not something that they went in with that intent. And I think that is the closure you get. Now, could it be said that, yes, they could have done things a lot differently for some of them, um, even the ones who, you know, could they have maybe 
changed the job? Could they have maybe done this or that? Could they have maybe, if they went to jail, maybe they could have done things to keep from going to jail. If they, you know, decided to do certain things and left, could they have done other things? You know, I mean, with the exception of anybody who may have passed away, who couldn't help that unless they, you know, committed suicide or something like that, God forbid, um, you know, something of that nature, you know, could, they really could not have done anything different, unfortunately. But I think that is your, that's where you get, this is your closure. You're understanding that this is, there was no ill will involved, no devil type mal intent involved. And this is you gaining your closure. And I think you get this while you're in your hermit stage. So either way, I do feel like this card is a closure card. You're either realizing that your closure is that this person was just a jackass and you need to cut from them and stop letting them take up your headspace because they're still continuing to win if you let them be a part of your brain when they're not worth your time and effort. Um, or if you're of the other side where you were gutted and it wasn't intentional to understand that and kind of accept that and move on. Either way, I feel like this is your closure and it's going to help you to, you know, decide with your temperance card here too, whether or not you want to move forward with that um, Knight of, of Wands. And I do really feel like that Knight of Wands is somebody who is genuinely interested in you. And again, I, I don't know why. But I certainly do get the feeling for many of you that this is somebody that you've already known. You may have friend zoned, but you know they are very much interested in you and have been probably for a long time. Um, and they've seen you kind of go through this and they it's hurt them. And they want to repair you. They want to heal you. They want to help you. Uh, they truly have good intent for you. So if that is a person and you know who I'm talking about, you know, be, be cognizant of that because they may very well be a very good option for you, especially once you've had a chance to kind of heal, get your closure. And they may also be able to help you with, with the uh, finances, pentacles. They want to help again, like I said. So let's draw some cards here on love cards and see what uh, we can get here. So codependency. I feel like, again, I feel like there was some codependency in this relationship. This is certainly shown here. If you see this card, you know, somebody is literally, you know, dragging along somebody else, you know, there's definite codependency there. That's certainly how you could get your financial ties tied up that would cause that. Um, I definitely feel like that was part of it. And when you're codependent on somebody and then they're not there, that certainly leaves a lot of um, lack of closure, unresolved uh, issues. Um, you know, some issues where you feel like there's a lot of baggage, things like that. You are kind of uh, really down and out. Uh, certainly can leave some financial issues um, if you're very codependent because you usually uh, depend on each other financially too. Um, so that would certainly explain a lot of that. Um, however, in this current um, state here, we have true love. So I do feel like with that, you know, I do feel like you have... Um, you know, I do feel like you have this Ace of Swords energy. I feel like you are, you know, I do feel like you're gutted, okay? You're either gutted or you're pissed, one of the two. But either way, you're not, you know, you're not, this is a point where you need to focus on what your true love needs to look like, okay? Imagine that, focus on that because I do believe that is what is going to be coming in with this Knight of Wands right here, the very next card. I do believe is a potential possible true love, honestly. I do think, but you have to be willing to let them in. And at this particular stage, for sure, you are either peeved off as all get out or you are broken as all get out. So, while you may not be ready to receive, because you have to release, right, to receive, <laughs> and you may not be ready to do that quite yet, um, I do think that it's coming for you. I do think spirit is telling you that that's coming for you, and I do see that I feel like that's this one right here. So I do think by the time you get to this part here where you do reach some closure, at least emotionally, mentally, I do think you might see this person for you know what they are 
um, because you know right now you're not going to see anything but red or tears <laughs> depending on which which resonates with you honestly so um, and this one is free yourself so again I think this is exactly what's happening here I feel like you are going to go in your hermit stage in order to it's kind of like um, your void in the uh, moon situation where you go in to kind of contemplate be contemplative think about things and that's where you're going to kind of reach your um, your own emotional closure um, and free yourself from what's happening here where you're going to say okay I'm no longer going to allow this jerk face to take up space in my head if it's somebody you're angry with um, because they have control over me as long as they're in my thoughts and I'm not going to let them have that control okay or it's going to be a situation where you're going to free yourself because you're going to say look they didn't do this to me as intentional you know it wasn't they could maybe they could have made different decisions maybe they couldn't have but the bottom line is they did not set out with sole purpose of hurting me and just knowing that you know i'm going to just take what i've learned i'm going to say it's better to have loved and lost than never to have loved at all free myself from the burden the pain whatever so that i can move on and live my life and you're going to free yourself from that that's going to give you the closure and then you will be open to find true love because I do feel like, again, where you have this temperance up here, you're going to be able to contemplate and think about whether that uh, Knight of Wands might be somebody that you have interest in. And I do believe they are actually uh, a potentially good notch for you, honestly. Um, I just, I get that feeling for you. And, and for many of you, I don't know why. I just feel like you know them already. Um and maybe they, you've even confided in them. You may have even confided in them throughout this process about how you're feeling. Uh, you may have unloaded on them and they are, you know, they're hurting with you because, you know, vicariously because they just, they care so much about you. And I think they are so ready to help you and be there for you if you just will open up to let them. But you have to get through the process. It's like any other, any other thing when you go through it, there's, it's a process. So once you free yourself, um, once you release, then you can receive. So uh, this is the soulmate deck. So in this, you need to just kind of think about what your perfect soulmate would be like, even if you're single, even if you have a, a, a soulmate, loved one, whatever. Um, and then this will just kind of give you some general advice of what a soulmate should be like for you. And that'll help you kind of guide you on your way a little bit there. So let's kind of get some of these. Take a look at them. Okay. This says, I feel you forever in my heart. You are in my thoughts and in the air I breathe. You are a jewel, a sparkling diamond. Your heart is like a great ocean of love. Thank you. Okay. And this should tell you right here that this person in no way, you know, that, you know, if, if they intentionally hurt you, that is okay. They in no way should take up headspace for you, okay? Because they aren't a jewel for you. They aren't somebody who lets you breathe freely and happily. Um, now, again, if this is a person who, you know, left you and they could not help that for whatever reason, that's a different story. Um, but let's see what this one says. You, my beloved, are like a ray of golden sunshine. I breathe in your love and all my concerns melt away and all that's left is pure joy. Thank you, my beloved soulmate. And again... Okay, I think you have that ace of swords energy. I think you can make good things happen. I think you can make yourself heal through this, get through this. And then I think that you will have a soulmate that will fit this come in. I do think that option is available to you. Um, but you are going to have to work for this. Um, again, this ray of sunshine is falling right under your sun in reverse card. Okay, so... Once you meet the person who takes that and turns that sun back upside down to where it is warm and happy and you're not in darkness and shadows and unhappiness and stress and all of that, then you'll know that that's the person, okay? And this one says, positive and loving thoughts are instrumental in creating positive, loving relationships. Fear and doubt only serve to create greater uncertainty. Think more about what is right in your relationship and less 
on what you think is wrong. And again, I think this here is how you're going to free yourself, okay? You need to think about if the person screwed you over, okay, don't let them take up mind space. If the person didn't intentionally do it, you need to forgive, forget, let it go. Think about that, the positives of it. What did you learn from it? Was it better to love at a loss than not to have loved at all? If so, take that, learn from that, free yourself from that burden of anger or sadness or whatever emotion it is that's weighing you down and allow yourself to be open and free to find your soulmate again, okay? So that you can be positive and happy and then maybe you can be this temperance here where you can think about possibly weighing out whether or not this knight of wands who's rushing in to spend time with you just might be the person for you, the true love for you. So I hope this was helpful to you. If it was, please do let me know. Uh, please do like, subscribe, share, all that other great stuff, comment, all that. Um, if not, please do check out your other signs to see if they resonate with you more. Otherwise, I hope to see you back soon uh, this weekend for love, re oh, I'm sorry, for energy readings for this weekend into next week. So bye.